Welcome back to Zachas. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. Today is all about corduroy. This is a Shark Tank product. It's a bean bag product. It's a bed product. It's a lot of different things. Today I'm going to and set it all up, take it out of the box and install it basically for you so you can see how to do that. I'm gonna do it as a one person. It's recommended for two people. I would recommend two people if you can, but I did it as one person. So you're gonna get to see that. I'm a bigger guy, so you're gonna get to see how that looks on these because a lot of their marketing material is skinny little people and little kids and they're great for them. Maybe not so much for big people, I don't know. We're gonna find out. And I got the king size. They were running a super special. I got the corduroy gray king size. That's what you're gonna see. They have a lot of different covers and different sizes, but I'm a big guy and I want the biggest thing because I want it to be like something you know I could really enjoy and I'm going to tell you all about that. So let's get into setting it up and installing it so you can see how to unbox it and how to um, get it all set up and what it looks like and then I'll talk about what I think about it. Here we go. I think 40% off, which is a great deal for the king. The bad boy. Now, you can't pull this out, it's too heavy. To get that out, you're going to uh, tip this over. Make sure that your, your box is open. And then you're gonna grab it from the other hand. And tip it over. And you'll see. Just like that. And then you're gonna just pull. If you have two people, it's probably a little easier, but you can do it with one. Pull that bad boy off. Get it all the way off. Just like that. This, my friends, is the corduroy king. It's wrapped in plastic. We need a knife or scissors to get the plastic off. I'm gonna use scissors. I'm gonna use scissors. Just be careful that you don't cut into the bed itself. Um, it is sealed and packed tight for shipping because it's easier to ship that way. So it's air vacuum. So it's really tight and glued on down so it can pop out or anything. Bust the box. And then I'm just going to find the seam here. And I'm just gonna cut down carefully down the seam. Cut that away and pull it tight, pull it tight to you so that you get that. Just pull it tight and you can slip it down in there and cut that away. As you can see, I'm leaving the inner plastic untouched. I'm just taking this outer plastic off right now so I don't cut the bed. If you pull it away, it just cuts pretty easily. So as you can see, I pulled all that plastic off, and now you can see it's like literally wrapped inside all the way in the spindle. See this? See how all this plastic is like stuck? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this excess plastic. I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna cut that off just to get it out of my way and then I can work on getting this removed from this vacuum sealed plastic. Carefully, you don't want to cut the bed, so raise this up and it'll just nicely slide around like wrapping paper. 
keep it tight. Review is coming on about this Orby from Costco's. Check that out. Now we wait 48 hours. And we'll put this into the cover and see what the bean bag is. See if it's a good chair. It's definitely a really big surface. I don't know if I'd call it a king bed. Probably only one person or two kids could sleep on this. But it does feel really comfortable and nice. It seems really premium quality. And so we're gonna find out. Stay tuned. 48 hours later, and now we're gonna put this into the case to make it a big back chair. As you can see, it's a lot fluffier than it was when I first got it out of the case or out of the packaging. And um, it's a lot firmer too than it was when it first came out. It's a solid bed. You can definitely sleep people on this temporarily. Definitely kids for sure. Let's put it into this quarter case and get it into a big bad chair. I'm solo today, so we're going to try to do this as one person. And what I'm going to attempt to do is follow their instructions to make this a taco and then shove it into this huge opening. So zip it. So I'm going to try to attempt to put this into this. <laughs> You're crazy. Okay. Let's see how this works. facing this way. Now right now, I'll be honest, it looks like a big ball of nothing. It looks nice. But I don't see anything like cherry about it. So here we go. showed it a lot bigger than this and um, it's comfortable but I thought it was gonna be like twice the size 
Some of you can even lay on them. So there you have it. The Quarterware King big bag. A big bag is truly like beans or little tiny things that make up this surface. This is more like foam, like a bed inside of a bag because they're trying to do two convertible things. But um, I mean, as you can see, it's pretty large. And as I lay on it and sit on it, um, and kids play on it, other people, I think it'll come down, work itself out. You can always work on it, move it around. You can see how loose it is. So I hope this video helps you. So guys, you just got through watching me set this up. I apologize. I am losing my hair and I'm gonna do videos on that. I'm working with different products to try to get that to come back. And I'm even talking to some doctors about maybe a hair transplant. So be sure and hit that subscribe button if you're a man and you wanna hear more about that or anything men related. I've got tons of stuff for men and tons of connected home and stuff videos. So hit that subscribe button. You'll get notified first when we put them up and it's free to do so. You can cancel at any time. Hit that like button too. That helps and comment below if you have any questions. And so to my review, on the Corduroy King uh, bean bag chair, which is bean bag. It's like supposed to be little beans or little tiny things like foam that that connect together and cause that that forming. This is more like foam, and um, the bed is as you can as you could see is like pretty big, pretty thick, and pretty heavy. I don't think I could lay on it. It would go right to the floor like it did for me. Um, but two kids or one adult of normal size would be fine to, you know, for guests or something like that. Um, I would still use an air mattress personally. Um, that's just me. I think they're, you can control the strength of it and there's, I like the ones that are higher so they don't have to like be directly on the floor, um, you know, or collapse onto the floor. There's no way to control this. It's foam. It does get pretty stiff and it is pretty high, but if you're of any significant weight, it's just going to go down. You can buy more foam from their website and make that more steady. I might do that. And as you can see, I'm, I sat in the, the thing. I really wanted something to be like a gaming chair or something that I could sit in comfortably and like chill out in, maybe even lay on. Based on the dimensions on their website, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger and like some, something more uh, firmer that I could like lay on or sit on, you know, lean on. Right now, anytime I sit on this, because it's foam and not beans and not virgin beans that are like sturdy, I sink down to the floor and I have a hard time getting back up. It's just not comfortable. Um, I wish I could send it back actually, but I'm not saying I don't recommend this product. You need to really consider your weight your height, your size, and what you're gonna use it for. Like, if you're a skinny, you have skinny kids, or you're a skinny adult, and you want it for like a um, kid's room, or like a playroom, or something like that, you know, the, the different sizes are gonna work for you, they're, they're sturdy enough for you, but if you get over 250 pounds and up, to like 300, where I'm at, um, you're going to sink. You have to buy more foam and hope that works. And it's a very difficult process because I got to now pull the bed out. I got to open the bed up, stuff the foam in there, re-taco it. I got to re-taco it and, you know, stick it back in there, get help or do it by myself. It's just, I don't feel like doing it. Plus, it doesn't really look good in a living room. It definitely needs to be in a theater room, a movie room, a game room, a play room, something like that. I would not put it in my living room unless you have like a den just dedicated to watching TV. That's not like a formal uh, setup. Um, so that's my two cents and you can see it on here. I wanted to just be completely transparent. Um, I'm not, you know, a model or anything like that. I wanted to see you to see a real person using this, setting it up, all that stuff. The company is amazing. The customer service is amazing. Um, I, I bought a queen and realized after some quick research, I need a king. So before it shipped, I switched it. Um, they had an amazing sale, which is the only reason I bought it. It was almost 50% off. Um, so at $250, I think is what I paid for the King. Um, it was a really good deal for something like that. I'm going to put it upstairs in the game room or something like that. I think people will use it. It just won't be something I get to use. And um, so that's it. I, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, comment below or you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. 
And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Be part of the Zacchaeus family. We'd love to have you. I will catch you guys in the next Zacchaeus video. Have a beautiful day. It's great to see your beautiful faces. Peace. Is it